Hello and welcome to Working Brick. And yes, this is a KSP video. I said I would be going on a hiatus, which is still true. I just wanted to uh, give the uh, people uh, who uh, want uh, KSP videos something to hold them over for the uh, remaining uh, just weeks in a hiatus. I plan to uh, do uh, a KSP video just every so often during the hiatus. Because yeah, I had an actual idea. It's a bit strange. But I've done air launches before, yes. But you've never air launched a crewed vehicle. And this is launching a crewed capsule from a plane. Now, as you can uh, see, our aircraft is something akin to SR-71 and the uh, rocket. It's a 1.875 meter diameter core stage with Titan II first stage engine, a, a smaller uh, second stage, and the capsule I'll get to later. Now, this might look ridiculous to some people, and it definitely does, but it's not without precedent. As you can see, uh, the uh, fuel tank uh, for the uh, core stage of the Energia uh, was uh, transported in a similar way. And by fuel tank, I mean uh, the main propellant tank. I'm sorry, I used a uh, too vague term. But anyways, it's time to actually do some air launching. Now, uh, this, uh, it, well, this rocket is a bit interesting to air launch. I'm currently going into a stall, and that's uh, suboptimal. And uh, yeah, you might notice yeah, I'm using the uh, music uh, that's uh, probably uh, most uh, famous uh, for being used by a Shadow Zone in his KSP uh, videos. I felt like that music perfectly encapsulates what's going on here. So you can just uh, watch as a uh, I have uh, failed several times. And each time it's always the same, the fairing impacts uh, the uh, just impacts the uh, front of the, uh, just the uh, nose of the aircraft, and everything goes wrong from there. Except now, um, well, I have the plane uh, stalled earlier than expected, so we're now heading downwards, uh, and just end yeah, this attempt it's pretty much dead at this point. I'm still going to try. And fail. Eventually, I will get it to actually work. I had done that testing earlier that proved that this can work. As you can see, a small collision between the fins and the body of the aircraft. Overall, the craft was undamaged, and we can now continue on into orbit. I should quickly elaborate that again, the hiatus will resume, which sounds weird to say, but just, yeah, I'm not completely back yet. There will be more non-KSP videos, just, I'm not fully returning to a weekly KSP videos yet. Also, you may have seen that I did post a teaser for this video, which, uh, that image, uh, you may notice that the uh, fairing on the uh, rocket is different, and the aircraft had the two less engines. That was a earlier version that uh, I realized didn't work. But yeah, I made some modifications that I brought it to uh, this design you see here. Now, you can see the uh, spacecraft there. So I'm using a Blue Dog Design Bureau Mercury capsule with a with a bunch of restock uh, parts. You know, I, did, I didn't want to use just a Mercury capsule. So yeah, I decided to only use that uh, single part uh, from the uh, Mercury spacecraft. Everything else is uh, more generic parts. You can see we have antenna there and docking port. There's some uh, Gemini-esque uh, stacks there. And uh, yeah, I'm using a Universal Storage 2 uh, service bay uh, for the uh, service module of this. And as you can see, we completely attach our, our uh, fuel tank for the upper stage. Because yeah, we uh, just, we use the RCS for any um, just orbital adjustments and for the orbit burn. Yeah, we're now in orbit, and so we actually have enough uh, consumables for uh, 25 days on orbit. However, we'll only uh, spend the two orbits uh, this step for this mission. You can see a beautiful uh, view of the Earth below us, and since we're getting started into a polar orbit. We get some uh, nice views as we travel over the uh, Northern Ice Sheet. 
Yeah, some nice aurora below us. And, okay, so in the teaser, somebody uh, thought that I might be doing something in a real solar system. But yeah, again, this is a curl scale real solar system. I'm uh, not ready to uh, try anything that's uh, actually real scale. That could happen after the hiatus when I have time. Anyways, this mission is about to be uh, concluded as we do a do orbit burn using the RCS. I just held the H key, I didn't uh, bother uh, binding the RCS to be uh, go forwards on, on throttle, I believe that's what the option is called. Basically, you can have RCS uh, be affected by throttle. So we can do a pre standard re entry, get some nice views of the ground below us. Well, actually, ocean in this case. And uh, now you can see a drogue chute and the main chutes are deployed. Passing through a cloud layer. Yeah. And yeah, this is now a fairly standard uh, landing. And so there we go. Flash down off the coast of California. And so I want to thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And goodbye.